Hi people. Well, I'm just cleaning up my dishes, getting ready to go have lunch with the girls. So I just want to, I haven't been political on this channel, but I feel like our country, you know, our whole way of life has been threatened in the last four years with the economy, the gas prices, the grocery prices. Uh, you can't get in to see a doctor because our medical system is inundated with illegals that the welfare system allows to use medical system. I have health issues. Getting in appointments like a month or two out, um, just everything that's going on, pushing the uh, LBGQT agenda, the tranny agenda, the sex change agenda, all this stuff in our public schools to hide from the parents, it's just, it's satanic. It is totally satanic. And if you aren't a believer in Jesus, you're not going to understand anything. If you believed Jesus and that the Bible is the living word of God, then you know that all this craziness going on with the democratic lunatic left is totally anti-Christian. In fact, they're persecuting Christians all around the world, and this country is no different. Um, there's a globalist agenda. If you don't know, there there's a whole globalist agenda with this uh, global warming and all this BS to basically make it a one world government eventually. And that's why they're stripping our constitutional rights. They're trying to get us used to living like that. Um, you know, my generation could buy a home when we first got married and live in it for a few years and flip it and get some money to put on a better house and upgrade. That was a standard living when I was growing up. It's impossible to even get your starter home now. And I blame the Democratic Party for this. The first thing Joe Biden did when he got into office was strip all the border policies that Trump had in place. The catch and release. There's like four policy issues that Trump had to control illegal immigration. And the first thing Joe Biden did when he got into office was just cancel all those and just open the borders for all these illegals to come in and murder citizens and such. They don't know who they are. If you look at, if you watch Fox News and see who's at the gate, they're not young families with cute little kids that you feel sorry for that pulls at your heartstrings. They're, they're war age males coming from all over the world into our country with backpacks you know that look like they're ready to go to war and they're on our streets they're illegals gavin newsom just built a high-rise condo the condos are worth six hundred thousand a piece that he's putting homeless in what kind of crazy world are we living in and they're considering him to be president and if you're watching the mainstream media shame on you shame on you if you're watching nbc cbs msnbc any of those stations the only station, well, Newsmax is good, but the only real station that's going to show you video of what's going on is Fox News. Even with the convention, I was just seeing the, the mainstream media were cutting out key parts. They'd go to commercials, like a really sad situation of a black woman whose son survived serving, I believe, in Iraq and came home and was stabbed in the heart and killed on the streets of Harlem. And Alvin Bragg, that liberal prosecutor who was going after Trump, he basically did plea deals where these guys won, the charges were dropped. I mean, this is what's going on. There's no protection for us anymore. And if you're watching anything but Fox and the Newsmax and the other conservative stations, you're not getting what's going on. All you're getting is propaganda. Do you get it? The left, is, the media is owned by the left, by the Democratic Party. It is not the party of your father and grandfather. The Democratic Party has sold out to basically satanic principles, anti-biblical principles. So shame on you if you're not watching Fox and other conservative stations to get the whole news. They prove, they give all angles and let you make the decision, but they don't censor what's going on like the mainstream media. So for you Democrats who don't want to talk about it and well, that's the way we have always voted. Your vote now is very critical to saving our democratic republic. Because if we have another Democrat in office the next four years, things are going to be absolutely miserable for low-income people. And I'm low-income. I'm living on Social Security. My dollar does not stretch. It's very stressful trying to figure out how to make ends meet now. And it wasn't like that four years ago with Trump in office. So I just wanted to point out my beliefs and what's going on. And if you don't agree with it, I'm not making any money on YouTube. You can unsubscribe. I don't think I'll ever make money on YouTube. This is like a vanity project. So when I'm in a nursing home dying, I can look back at all these videos of what I did for the last 10 years. <laughs>
So you're not going to offend me. If you, in fact, if you don't understand what I'm saying and you still support this satanic de democratic party, go ahead and unsubscribe. I really don't want to know you anyway. I really don't because you're part of the problem. You're turning a blind eye and putting your head in the sand and just voting blindly is what's wrong with this country. I don't think Trump lost the last election. I think he won it. I think it, there's plenty of evidence that after hours ballots came in, ballots of dead people just you know, produced on copy machines. There's all sorts of evidence that this happened. On election night, Trump was ahead. When you went to bed, you thought he won. Well, things went on overnight, and ballots came in overnight, and the next morning, all of a sudden, Trump is basically lost. Um, watch 2,000 Mules. It's a great documentary that shows how they did it, basically. And once, once Biden was installed, it was too late to really do anything about it. But it is true that the election was stolen, and I expect problems this time. Unless the overwhelming votes are for Trump, it would be very hard if the overwhelming landslide votes for Trump, it's going to be hard for the Democrats to pull off any kind of uh, funny business like they did last time. So vote Trump. I'm wearing this out to lunch, but I don't have to wear this to lunch because all my homies are Republicans. They all get it. That's why I'm back in a red state for a while. I had to clear my mind. I was out west with all these liberals. This just permeates the air out west. The liberal agenda and what they approve of and it was so nice to get back to Indiana where it's a red state <laughs> thanks for listening this land is your land this land is my land from California to the New York Island from the redwood forest to the Gulf Stream waters this land was made for you and me As I was walking that ribbon of highway I saw above me that endless skyway I saw below me that golden valley This land was made for you and me I thought cranes were just... Uh from Florida and, and tropical states. I didn't realize we had cranes up here in Indiana. Aren't they pretty? What are you doing with that little snake? Huh? Don't hurt him. Look at him. I think I should save him. I don't think you should kill him. Here. Let me get him. I wonder if he swims. I'm going to put him in the water. Hope he doesn't swing up here and bite me. Hey, sure we're having a good time with him. There. I hope you swim. There he goes. He swims. Saved your life. Now don't bite me next time. What do you time. see, Jeff? Is that a boat? Is that a boat? Well, here comes Lucy Lou. Here comes the baby. What you doing, Lucy Lou? What you doing, little girl? What you doing, Lucy? Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? Aww.
Tater. Tater, you want to be famous on my YouTube channel? You do? You want to be famous on my YouTube channel? Tater, I'm taking your picture. Come here. Come here, pretty kitty. Look how pretty you are. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're so pretty. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're making me scoot to the edge of the couch. Come here, you. Come here. Why do they always be just out of reach, but they want you to rub them? Come here. I'm not getting on the floor. Come here, you. Come here. Tater, come here. Looky here. Yeah, you're right. I don't think it's her. Yes, aren't you cute? You're so pretty. Tater. Tater. But this one is me when. Back up, cat lady. I'm spoken for. where I graduated, the back parking lot. I was riding my bike. I hadn't ridden it since um, I got back from riding it at my friend's house by the pond. And I can't, couldn't remember how much battery life I had, so I brought my charger with me just in case. I'm in no big hurry, so I'm sitting here in the parking lot charging my battery so I can get home. I like to finish my bike ride. It's been so unbearably hot. I mean, I haven't seen so much rain anywhere, not even in South Florida. I don't know what's going on with the weather. It stormed so bad last night. There were branches everywhere. My RV was shaking. It was 
the storm hit around one o'clock in the morning and I knew it would and I had fallen asleep but it woke me up and we didn't have power till 11 o'clock this morning pretty much so I thought I'd just sit here and relax waiting on the battery to charge time to wash my hair so I'll just sit here and watch the Republican National Convention on YouTube go Trump make America great again and safe again the red lights on so it's not done charging it's gonna be a while although it does it charges pretty quick on electric it looks like the old high school which I think is now a middle school has put all these solar panels and I think there is another group of them out closer to the lake to those new houses so I don't know it seems to me like it probably costs them more to um, install them than they're gonna save and I wonder if if they're totally solar or if they're still using electric are those panels just for the lights the football field lights surely not anyway Electric vehicles aren't what they're cracked up to be as you can see I'm sitting here waiting on my battery to charge and It's not the first time in Ajo I ran out twice and this bike doesn't pedal very easily and I'm having hip surgery So I really can't pedal it without the electric right now anyway But I think the electric car thing is a big old scam so some people can get rich because the only people that's going to be making electric cars in mass is going to be China. It's not going to be the U.S. And I've already heard that the auto industry is suffering from this debacle that the rich want to get richer on. But there's an idiot born every minute, right? Or is that a fool? One or the other. There's a neighborhood I grew up in next to that blue house. To the left of it, you can't see it. But I used to just walk across the street to go to school. And I marched in the high school band on that field right there, playing saxophone. Most of those houses weren't there then. There might have been two or three, um, but from the blue house down there all the way to this red house over here, I don't think there were any houses at the time I was going to school there. That's a lovely area of town though. If you have to live in the city, that's where you want to live. Well, I'm gonna... I got a little charge on here. I hope it's enough to go down the street where I used to live. And I'll film it. We'll see. I need to pump shower and wash this hair. I hope I don't run out again. I've had more trouble with that with this bike than I have the other electric bike I have. Okay, there's the house I used to live in. Right there. I used to mow that yard. That's the flag. <laughs> The people cursed his name, bowed at the altar of the father of lies. But there's a number to their days, and all their evil ways. The Lord's gonna turn away from all their cries. On their heads, millstones around their necks. They'll feel the shaking when the trumpet sounds. And no matter where they hide, there'll be nowhere to run. When Jesus puts his mighty foot on the ground.
set fire to the evil ones and all the wickedness they've done. There'll be no time to turn around as the stars begin to hit the ground and the mountains fall and the veil is torn with the sound of that seventh horn. Oh, revelation. I can feel it coming like a dime. And it won't be long.